how to add a before and after slider to your Shopify website. Now, this is going to be absolutely fantastic if you're like a makeup brand or if you're a weight loss brand or something where you want to show an image of somebody before and then an image of somebody after and basically make it super sleek with the ability to flick back and forward with a slider. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can get this on your Shopify website and this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial. So if you follow along, by the end of this video, you will be able to add a before and after slider to your Shopify website. To do this, the first thing that you need to do is go to the first link in the description of this video. If you go ahead and open this up, it's going to take you over to this website called Elfsite. Now Elfsite is the software that we are going to be using in order to add one of these type of sliders to your Shopify website. The awesome thing about Elfsite is that you can get started for free. So all you need to do is enter your email in right here, click on start, and then you will be able to go. So all you need to do is enter your email in here, click start, and then you will be able to go through and create your free account. Once you have signed up to Elfsite, what you then need to do is click on widgets up here and it's going to take you through and show you all of the possible widgets that you can use on Elfsite. And there's a, there's a lot of these. So you might even flick through and decide like, hey, I want to try this. You might see a bunch here that you potentially may want to try out. However, we are here for a before and after slider. So all you want to do is search for before in this box. And then the before and after slider is going to pop up. So just click through into that and then as you can see it's going to take us through to this area and there's four different templates right now that we can choose from. So we can go for this one which is like a simple comparison, a product comparison, a retouch slider and the list of works. So choose one of these, uh, I'm just going to go for the simple one and then once you have chosen which template you want to go for, click on continue. It's then going to take you through to here and keep in mind that these are called sets. So with this dog in particular, we need to click through into like this first one and you will see the before image of the dog and the after image of the dog or whichever one you went for. So then we just change these out. So with the before image, uh, let me just Google something real quick, just like this, before and, Im before and after images. Um, now, I highly recommend that if you're actually doing this for your brand, you get like a professional image. However, just for this tutorial, um, let's go for this one right here. Um, before and after wedding makeup. So make sure you have those two images saved separately. And then add them in right here. So I have the before in here and then I have the after. And then as you can see, we can flick between the two. The image quality on this is absolutely dreadful um, because I just quickly downloaded this from Google. Yeah, your image quality should not be this bad. It's nothing to do with Elfsight. Uh, just keep in mind that that is because I quickly downloaded that off Google. However, once you're happy with how this looks and you have your slider, click on Add to Website. It's then going to give you a preview of how this looks. And then all we need to do is click on Publish up here. Now, it's then going to ask you to choose a plan. So the plan that you go for would depend on how many monthly views your website gets. And if you want to try this out or you just, you're new to Shopify, you can go for the light plan right here, which is completely free. Now, once you have selected your plan, it's going to bring up this little bit of text. Super, super simple right here. All we need to do is copy and paste. So first of all, we copy the code, go over to Shopify. And then once you're on your Shopify website, Make sure that you're not on the header and you're not on the footer. Just go to the template section and add in a new section. Now from this big menu that opened up, you want to go down to custom liquid right here. Add this in and then all we need to do in this liquid code box is paste in exactly what we just copied. Give it a few seconds and then this is going to be added in. And that is how you can add in a before and after slider to your Shopify website. 